welcome to the Mentored Engineer. In our last video, we looked at our powertrain, uh, mostly focusing on the pump. This one, we're going to talk about our uh, gas motor and the shaft coupling. Now, our gas motor, uh, I just went to Harbor Freight and picked up a 5 horsepower motor. Uh, I don't know why Harbor, Harbor Freight gets a bad rap with their stuff. If you take care of stuff, uh, it lasts a lot longer, so make sure that you uh, keep it covered. Uh, so that water doesn't get in and it rusts um, and then just uh, make sure you're doing your maintenance uh, changing their oil and stuff like that their products last a very long time so on our motor we have a three quarter inch shaft and on our pump there's a half inch shaft so those two don't directly couple together and we want to have some forgiveness in the alignment both in angular and uh, location all right so how we do that is we have uh, couplers and the one I've chose here is uh, a Lovejoy L-Series jaw coupling. And it consists of three parts. It's going to have a spider that goes in the middle and a jaw on each side. Now you can buy different jaws so we can have one that goes on a three-quarter shaft and another one that goes on a half-inch shaft. And I'm going to go through the uh, process of uh, selecting one right now. So here on this page you can see that there are spiders all right, and you can get them out of bronze, you can get them out of different types of rubbers. One of the most popular is the SOX rubber, which is uh, very similar to what they use in cylinder seals and stuff like that. Uh, the problem is, is they're not very strong. Uh, other ones you can use are urethane, which is uh, my preferred one. Uh, good chemical resistance, it's uh, about 50% stronger than the uh, SOX, and uh, pretty cheap still. All right, you can get high trial, and you can get bronze. And bronze is mainly used for high torque, low speed systems. All right, I've only specified uh, bronze for one other application. It was because it was very high torque. Uh, we're going to use this section right here to determine our uh, nominal torque. All right, and we're going to base that off of five horsepower. Uh, we're going to divide it by the RPM and multiply it by 63,025 to get our torque in inch-pounds. Okay, and I calculated about 145 inch-pounds of torque required. Alright, now the next thing we want to do is make sure that we are using the right service factor. And a service factor is simply uh, just a, an added design factor based on how the application is. Alright, so we're going to look through this list here. And I've already looked and there's no... Uh, hydraulics uh, uh, right here but there is pumps so we're going to go with pumps and we have a rotary uh, gear or vane pump and we're going to use um, we're not using reciprocal so it's not 2.0 or 1.6 this would be something that you know rotates and then rotates back in opposite direction so we're not going to use that uh, I would err on the side of uh, a higher service factor. In this case, I'm going to use the 1.5 that you see I've selected here. Okay, so that brings our, our uh, torque up to about 190 uh, inch-pounds. Right, so the next sheet here we're going to look at is um, our actual uh, pieces, and we're going to size not only the spider, but also the uh, size of the L-series coupler that we need. Okay, so um, I don't want to use the SOX because I have to go up to a, a 95 uh, size. If I get the slightly more expensive urethane one, all right, I can get the same thing in an L90 series here. That goes up to 216 inch pounds. And um, uh, that will be an L090 series. All right, now there are some other options. I can go to that with a bronze one remember I said low speed this is not a low speed application so bronze is out of the question even though the torque is there uh, you could get high trial um, but I, I just wouldn't I'd go with the slightly bigger size go down all right so um, next thing we'll do is we'll select what actual part numbers we need so we already said that our coupling size is a L90 uh, series okay so we're gonna we're gonna always want to pick an open center um, one this is so 
that if the shafts, if they need to, they can go into the space where the spider um, occupies. So we want to go into a urethane open center and look at that. There's our part number, a 11075. Okay, now if we scroll down just a little bit to the next page, we can start looking at our um, our jaw type. Okay, so the first thing we need is to know what shaft size we want. So on our pump here, we got a half inch bore. Uh, so our shaft size. So we're going to have a half inch shaft, and we got a keyway on this, and it's one eighth wide and one sixteenth tall. Okay, and normally the 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 height will be one half the width. Okay, so we're going to go over and find where L90 and this half inch right here, and we're going to look for part part number two six zero seven or zero eight seven. All right, and that's that's the pump side. That's all we need there. All right, now the other one has a three quarter inch, and that keyway is actually three sixteenths by three thirty seconds. So we're going to go over here to the L90, and we're going to need part number one zero seven seven three. All right, and all we do now is we order those three parts. And the cool thing about uh, Lovejoy couplers is they're, they've got distributors on Amazon, so you can just go in there and buy it, and it'll be there at your house in two days, uh, and you're done. Okay, so uh, one thing I always recommend is when you're, when you're putting together um, parts like this that go on shafts, make sure that you use anti-seas to prevent them from rusting together, because if you ever have to take it apart, and you will, they are nearly impossible. You end up uh, breaking some part of it to get it off and hopefully it's not the pump or the motor because the, the coupler is the cheaper thing. Um, just had to do this a couple weeks ago with a uh, project I'm working on where we actually had to go and um, cut a gear basically in half to get it off the shaft that it was on. Well thank you for watching The Mentored Engineer. I hope this episode was insightful in selecting a jaw coupler for your application. Thank you for watching and have a great day.